why don't we talk about some music? Yeah, music. We are obviously both musicians. I'm curious to talk a little bit about the parallels with music and code and kind of maybe starting with how music led you into coding and why it was a good fit for you as a career choice. Yeah, I'm excited to talk about music with you. I grew up, as you mentioned before, playing piano and I learned starting classical piano. I am struggling with learning jazz piano right now just because I want it to sound perfect, but it's really hard to get there. So music always captured my imagination. It would bring me into a flow state mm. of just, yeah. you know, I just lost track of time. Hmm. And that had such a big impact on me when I was growing up that I wanted to seek that out for my career. I wanted my job to feel that way. I wanted it to feel stimulating. I wanted to get in a flow state. I wanted to be interested in it rather than just sitting there wondering what time I was going home, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it was really that pursuit of trying to replicate what music did to my mind that led me to Cody. Because as soon as I tried it, I realized, well, gosh, it feels feels the same way. I get into a flow state. I'm learning these patterns, I'm applying patterns that I may have used to solve the solution to this new problem mm. in a creative way. And I really see that as, as being so similar to playing music. I don't know if your experience has been the same, but it it really is kind of an interesting, it was an unexpected parallel for me when it happened. Yeah, absolutely. I think for me, when I first started learning how to, how to code, it was a lot about thinking about music as a framework, as a language, right? Similar to, similar to coding, where in music you have you know, you all agree on the time signature that you're going to play in. You all agree on what key it's going to be in, right? Similar to text stacks, right? Where you say, okay, we're going to write this in JavaScript. And with JavaScript comes certain notions. And so, or we're going to write this in Python. And with Python comes certain ideas of how you import is different than JavaScript or what your function signatures look like, right? And I think being able to think about music in that sense really sort of helped me to understand the similarities and the frameworks in which you are starting at. Yeah, definitely. It's kind of similar to like if you're trying to read from a jazz lead sheet, you know that the general structure is might be the same as this other song you played, but there is a little bit different melody notes. There's a couple of extra chord modulations in there and you're using that experience of those previous patterns to try to play this next song. Mm. And it, it comes out at its own different personality, which is really exciting. I just had and this, I just had this parallel right now, as you said, jazz lead sheet, I'm thinking, okay, jazz lead sheet is a perfect example of what a user story should be. Where let's say the melody, right, is like essentially what the user's experience should be as a musician you're right. gonna you're gonna play the melody right a lead sheet also has chords it doesn't tell you how you have to play them the patterns in which you need to play them and it doesn't tell you you know the shape from a, you know as a pianist how you're voicing it right and mm -hmm. so for me that's that's the developer's creativity in the implementation that is a perfect parallel that's a machine yeah and uh, that's that's what's so exciting about it the freedom right yeah it's, the freedom to express yourself in what you know is a great song <laughs> because you've heard it before yeah yeah and another interesting thing that's kind of fun to look at just food for thought i read an article about jazz versus classical music and they were doing brain study on people and they said that when someone is playing jazz, their brain does this certain pattern. And then when they're playing classical, it does a completely different pattern. Huh. And I thought that was fascinating. I would love to see what someone's brain looks like when they're coding and then compare that to a musician's brain when they're playing music. Okay, I think you found your next side project. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll use that uh, breathwork 
instructor to try to get me a brain cap. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. We're just, yeah. we're just such nerds, aren't we? Absolutely. We'll just, you know, we'll just keep going on this, you know? Yeah. If I have one piece of advice for everyone listening, just, just be a nerd. That's right. It's the best way. And embrace it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think the other thing too, what's interesting about music, right? And the parallels with coding is this idea of scope. And you kind of talked about this and it, it, it reminded me a lot of when you're, when you're talking about consulting, you're having to operate at different levels of scope where you're in the code, right? So that's like the lowest level where you're focusing as an individual contributor to write the best code that you can write. But then you also have to say, okay, I'm going to pull my, my head out of the code. Now I need to figure out how to operate within the team. Now I need to figure out how do I operate and organize the code as a whole on an architectural level, right? And if right. we map, if you map that to a musician and playing in a group, for example, as a piano player, you are focused on your piece, right? Making sure that you are executing your piece. However, as the music is playing, you're also interacting with all the other musicians. And jazz is perfect because, you know, you have trading fours where you're actually taking turns expressing some musical ideas, right? Yeah. And so you have to interact with these different players at the same time that you're responsible for your own piece of code, which I find really interesting. I love that analogy. It's also the synergy that you build with that group. Yeah. Can yeah. feel very similar to the synergy you feel when you're with a team of developers and you build something together and it works. It's just so amazing how many parallels there are to I just love it. I love talking about it. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know that. And I think it's fascinating to to tell people about that. 